one of the things I started to see more clearly is that the love of the father embraces not just the return of the son, but also the leaving of the son. And it's really important. And that somehow that whole movement of leaving and returning is a movement done under the loving eyes of the father. So it's not a father who says, don't go. That's not the spirit of the story. The spirit of the story is, is yes, son, go. And you will be hurt. And it will be hard. And it will be painful. And you might even lose your life, but I can't hold you from taking that risk. And when you come back, I'm there for you but I'm also there for you now. Because I think in a very deep way, we are always leaving and returning. It's not just a one-time event. It's an ongoing experience. We're leaving. And I want you to be in touch with it, that fact that you're always leaving and returning. And in a very deep sense, I believe even, that you have to be convinced of God's love in order to take the risk of leaving once in a while again. <laughs> because there are moments that we, we want to take a step back and to go off for a while and come back. I want you to sense that God loves you as a person who is leaving and returning constantly. And the more you become sensitive to your own journey, you will discover that this takes place Every day, every hour, our minds leave and return, our hearts leave and return, our bodies leave and return. It's not just one dramatic moment in your life. And what I ask you is, in a way, getting a certain sense of compassion with your own journey, with your own leaving and returning, a sense of, yes, yes, I'm loved when I take a risk, I'm loved even when I make a mistake. 